and welcome to another One Piece chapter review and discussion! <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about chapter 100, 1,111 oh. titled The Sun's Shield. I'm exploding. I'm exploding. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to another chapter review and discussion. It is with a heavy heart that we talk about today's chapter because after this, we're going on a three week break. Can you believe it? Oh my God. It's exciting. Um, And it's good. It's good for Oda. controversial. It's 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 good for Oda for sure. It's good for Oda and the story. And it's great. It is great for the story. And without Oda, we don't have a fucking story. So <laughs> go off, dude. Go off. Um, that's a fact. That's a fact. It, it, as a fan, it's it sucks. Um, but um, like you said, it's gonna be great for the story. It's gonna be great for Oda, and um, we're gonna look at his message later after we get through the chapter talking about the three week break that we're going to be going on. Um, we're going to be looking at our tours translation of the message because apparently there were some like mistranslations floating around and we trust our tour to get it right. So we'll be looking at that a little bit later. Um, the chapter itself though was absolutely incredible. It was incredible. I feel like, especially toward the end, we were getting so many things um, shown to us, teased, that reveal at the end the apology from the giant robot. Finally. <laughs> finally, finally. Finally, that big guy is, yeah. is up and at him. Yeah, it's about time, dude. It's about time. He's a little quick to or slow to the start, but once he gets up, you know, he gets he gets shit done. Um, we got to see York again talking to the Gorosei. We got to see Lucci talking to the Gorosei. We got to see even Lucci himself sad about Kaku. There's something there. <laughs> y'all, y'all, I don't know if I've seen Lucci beg for someone else's life. Very yeah. interesting. And I know it's like, oh, they're homies. Like, they're homies. It goes a little deeper than that. I feel like, why would he ask that? Like, Something else he was knows, awakened in Lucci besides his devil fruit. He knows better than, he knows, he knows better. Um, he's a, mil he's, he's a dog. Yeah. He's a dog. Like, oh, one request, like. Yeah, I mean, I think he was doing the only thing he could do, which was just ask. Um, it is. But kind it's of so sad out that, of character uh, for him. It, it, it did feel out of character for him, but it also feels like a new side to him that we're going to get to see, you know? I mean, I guess. And I, I, I know, uh, yeah, I guess he has a group, like, yeah, I understand, but I don't know. That was shocking to me. I was like, oh, you care about someone else? Uh, honestly, Other than yourself? Yeah. I was shooketh. Honestly, I was a little shook, too. Yeah, I was like, whoa! I think Lucci. Me, it, it just goes to show how much he cares, even if every other time we've seen him, he acts like he doesn't give a fuck about anything. It just shows that he does. Kaku, <laughs> Only Kaku. <laughs> does anyone and else? he's like, fuck everybody yeah. else. <laughs> I only care about Kaku. So that knows. Okay, okay, moving on, moving on. Oh, we're moving on, we're moving on, we're moving on, we're moving on. We're moving on. I don't want to. I don't want to go there since it's the last chapter. Yeah. Uh, before three for three week break. Yeah, it, it's interesting that we got the giant <laughs> robots apology during this chapter, and it felt similar to Zunisha's proclamation. The words we heard Zunisha speak. Um, it, it it was not an apology that Zunisha gave, but just because of their affiliation and association with Joy Boy. It's like punishment they were said to have like had to live out. Yeah. It just makes me wonder what the connection is between the two of them, the giant robot and Zunisha. Did Zunisha help Joy Boy 
And is that why, or go against the government rather? And is that why they are being punished? And did the giant robot betray Joy Boy? And is that why he's apologized? Mm. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to be unpacking this together. Super curious to know what you guys think, how you guys feel as of this recording. The chapter just dropped not too, too long ago. So a lot of ideas are swimming around in my head right now. And I have a lot of thoughts. And I'm going to do my best to kind of focus them as much as I can. And Bend I do over. apologize if I'm not um, as vocal today. Because uh, my vocal cords do hurt. My throat hurts a little bit. So sorry if I'm just kind of like chilling at, at any point. in the Yeah, life. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a little <clears throat> under the weather. Not super sick, but just a little under the weather. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling better than you did yesterday, though. For yes. Sure. That's good. Yes. That's good. Uh, ben Dover said, Stussy got no love. Lucci is sus AF. You'd think, too. You'd think. <laughs> What? The Stussy would get some love. I got love for Stussy. <laughs> I know a lot of people got love for Stussy. <laughs> Come on now. Um, Gabe said, where the hell is Stussy anyway? And uh, Beans is also saying that Stussy did betray them, but water under the bridge. Water under the bridge. Yes. Uh, Conrad Corbel is back, baby. <laughs> Um, that's a special sound just for Conrad right there. We'll hit it one more time. Shout out, shout out. It's good to have him back. It's been a minute. Big uh, uh, big ups to Conrad, who says, Bro Zoro is so strong that Oda is only letting him use 10% of his power. Kizaru is on fraud watch. Can't even take down Lonji. Kizaru probably can't even beat <laughs> Labo. <laughs> I bet that's so funny. Gosh, for real. I bet he couldn't even beat Chopper. It's good to have you back, man. I'm surprised I wasn't a lopper. Uh, yeah, I, I'm surprised too. <laughs> I think Conrad likes Chopper, though. I think this confirms it. Yeah. Uh, v Peak Fiction. Did y'all read the chapter? Yes, we did. Yeah. Just moments before going live, like I said, we were doing a deep dive. You know, into what some of these things could mean. We're going to figure it all out together, speculate together, because we got three weeks of nothing after this. I wouldn't say nothing. I mean... From the story, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. But from us, no. <laughs> we got a lot of things <laughs> I cooking. I saw someone else was like, vacation, volume one vacation. I fucking <laughs> wish. <laughs> I wish. No. Um, Can't go on vacay. We actually have a lot of One Piece stuff coming out. A lot of collabs we're going to be doing and there's some other stuff we've been working on um, that's going to be hopefully coming out soon too yeah you know the like phrase work hard play hard yep it's work hard play none <laughs> yes. that's what we do yes that is our mentality our way of life yeah our mantra work hard don't play ever yeah <laughs> Quattro Gifted Five Quattro. Volume One Podcast Memberships. Thank Let's you. fucking go. Oh my God. What can I say? He's an awesome guy. Um, shout out Quattro. Uh, Dimmy got one. JJ Loves JP got one. Um, Absalar Shade got one. Winston got one. Let's go. My buddy 919 got one. Shout out Quattro. Conrad with another super chat. Oh. Thank you, Conrad. Yeah, it's good to have you back. I need the Max win. Um, Chopper was my favorite character. Pre time skip, post time skip is a fake whopper <laughs> for real. <laughs> whopper. Um, bro, lost for real. I'll be right back. Yeah. Tony's right back. Uh, speaking of Chopper, speaking of Tony, Tony Chopper, Tony's acting up and he knows it. He's giving yeah. us a look right now. As soon as Megan gets back, we'll jump right into the chapter, though. Man, I am. I'm all over the place right now because I've been doing some reading recently. Me and Megan both have been doing some reading recently. Um, not just manga reading, but actual novel reading. Uh, I'm going through the, the Mistborn series right now. I'm on the final book, Hero of Ages, Let's Go. And it's crazy because, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's because that story, I'm not done with the, that third book yet. I'm about halfway through. 
I don't know if it's because it's so fresh in my mind, but a lot of the things that are being revealed, I feel like my mind is just sort of like in that headspace right now. And so I'm applying some of the same logic to the events that are currently occurring. And like, could this mean something similar that was revealed in this series? It's a stretch, but like, that's where my head's at right now, especially with a lot of what we got in this chapter that we're, like I said, we're, we're going to unpack. 56 bend over said, go move. That's another Easter egg that we noticed from the chapter on the bat, which was one of Luffy's funniest and one of my favorite gear five feats, which was him like chewing down a tree, I believe it was, and painting it, turning it into a bat with the number 56, 56 translating to Gomu, a nice little nod Easter egg to Gomu, Gomu, me, obviously. Super sick, man. I love that shit. I love Gear 5, um, Gear 5 Luffy, what he's able to do in that form. That shit made me laugh. It might, again, might be one of my favorites. It's like the jump rope, uh, the eyes popping out, the gagunk face, and and this. Because he had like a baseball helmet on and everything. He was even, um, like his scars were even flying off of him and he was like trying to stick his scars back on him. This felt... I've always compared, and, and many people have compared Gear 5 Luffy to the mask, but this felt like the most mask level shit <laughs> that we've ever seen uh, when it comes to Gear 5. It was so sick. Megan is back better than ever. Ow! Um, where did we leave off? Gabe Ruiz with a member comment. Gabe, who's been a member for 16 freaking months, dude. Good smell. Flavor. Let's uh, go. Gabe says, hey, <clears throat> bada, hey, bada, swing. Luffy just <clears throat> did his thing. Oh, shit. Bar. Hey, bada, bada, hey, bada, bada, swing. <laughs> I want to make a song. <laughs> Maybe that's what we'll do <laughs> during the three-week break. Make another uh, One Piece Ooh. song. Wow, that was... Uh, Conrad Corbel. <laughs> it's your kitchen. Well, another, another super chat. Josh reading. He means he is listening to audiobooks. <laughs> Don't, Conrad. We were, we were doing good before, okay? You were commenting on the chapter, the characters, the story, and you were keeping me out of it. But I should have known it was only a matter of time before you dragged me in. And I don't, I, you know, if you like listening to audiobooks, that's on you. I, I think that's fair. I think that's cool. I think that's awesome. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I've tried. I cannot do it. I don't have the attention span for it. Bro, lost for real. Anyway, should we start going through? Yeah. Let's start going through. And then we'll start sharing all of uh, our, our thoughts, theories. We got our heavy as the head that wears the L segment coming up towards the end, too. But before we do, we got one more member comment that just came in from Shine Yi Yin. Uh, I, I kind of want to give Shine Yi Yin something else. Let's um, like another sound, like uh, ooh, that's a more a classic. That's a more. That's good. A classic. One more month. Love seeing Nami with her new kid on the cover. Hope Oda just kid Bonnie in the future. Her real age. Yeah, man. Yeah, I hope so, too. I mean, I, I definitely hope so, too. <laughs> I saw a meme. And it was like... It was like Luffy eating the fries. It's like, damn, bitch. Like, no one's <laughs> trying to take that shit from you. Like, chill out. I was dying. Yeah, dude, because if you look oh at his grip God. on the fries, it's like, like bro, no, I promise no one's trying to take I your fries. I promise you. Yeah. Greedy bitch. Yeah, that's how I oh eat. Oh, my that's God. That's how I eat, too. Tess said, was Megan reading Mistborn 2? No, she's reading Akotar. I'm oh. reading, no, it's a, a Akko... They change. a right. court. It's always a court of, but I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses, and now I'm on A Corn of Mist and Fury. A corn? A corn. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. I haven't gotten there yet. Um, A court. Uh, of Mist and Fury. Demi said about the Shonen Jump cover, I wonder if, let me make this bigger so I can read it. Uh, 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 uh. I wonder if this is a half of another cover that connects similar to the Wano one with the Stampede film, if you know what I mean. Oh, I could see that. 
I could definitely see that because it looks like it's oriented in that way. Like there's room or there would be room for that. Let me pull this up so we can all look at it together in all its glory. <laughs> Starting from the beginning. Damn, why, why is my camera so big? Why is it like that? Sorry, I have to rearrange the cameras because I don't know what happened. But my head looks too big in this square right now. And maybe that's just my head. I think I think it is. Okay. Anyway, um, this is the, the cover that you're referring to. It does look like there could be another half to that. But this is fire. This is heat. Yeah, pirates. Piratey pirates. of uh, More piratey than ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They all look good, too. Mm -hmm. All of them. Mm -hmm. um, the other cover spread, or actually the cover spread that we got, was really, really cute. I really enjoyed it. We got Luffy gripping those fries. Like, literally so... And, and Yeah, dude. So... Just stuffed. 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 Um, I love the color scheme. The pastels are really pretty. Um, jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Jellyfish madness. Mm -hmm. um, I also like all the characters. You yeah. see, you see. I mean, Kuma, Kuma in there. Kuma's there. Kuma Obviously, in we there. have uh, kid or actually true aged Bonnie there. Um, we, have, we have Kid Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> we have Brooke, Jean Bay, Robin, Sanji, Zoro, Vegapunk, Frankie. Frankie's got his back to Robin. What do you think that means? You think no? That's... They're just having their time. He's she's letting him have his time with Vegapunk because Herman and Vegapunk are having a conversation. Ah, uh, right I see. And this I is see. the most we've seen them talk in the whole arc. So let it be. Right. You know. Right. She's like, be. I don't want to, you know, get in his no. way. No. The the more concerning thing. Mm -hmm. Is that I think she is talking to Sanji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I don't know about that. That's that's more concerning. And I just think it's them talking. I don't see. I, I can't see clearly. Is that a buffer? Is there someone? Uh, I could try to zoom in. What Let's is see. that? Oh, I zoomed into the chapter. Let's see. No, is what is that right there? I don't. Is know. that a sad? <laughs> fuck is that i don't know what is that i don't know if that's a person that's crazy yeah i don't think it is actually what the heck usopp's there too hanging on to it looks like a mound of flesh it, it really but i does. think it's like cooking supplies and y'all yeah. i'm just joking i'm just joking. <laughs> okay dang tony i'll be chill. right back tony is going off today i don't know what his dealio is man dogs never bark so much in his damn life um, let's catch up on some member comments and super chats before we carry on. Shout out Beans. What can I say? He's an awesome guy. Pretty interesting to see Luchi have this care for Kaku since CP9 all grew up in Cypher Pole training together. Childhood friends turned lovers? I don't know. I'm just saying, dude, there could be a little something there. Uh, I, I, I just think he obviously just cares about him, but I also was surprised to see Lucci ask that um, of the Gorosei. I thought that was pretty wild. I thought that I thought it, you know, it it really said a lot about how he feels about Kaku, which I really didn't. I didn't really pick up on that shit at all ever before. I really didn't think this man cared that much. He seemed always indifferent. He seemed always standoffish. But the ones who love the hardest usually do. And that's just life. Um, we got Conrad. Shout out Conrad. It's too big, too long. Oh my gosh. Also, respectfully, in a Jinbe way and not in a Sanji way, Wegging gets prettier and taller every time I take a break and Josh Stash gets sexier. <laughs> That's a more. Thank you, dude. I need the Max win. Shout out Conrad. Thank you, dude. I'll, I'll reread it when Megan gets back. Um... Yeah, dude, I, I mean, I got a trimmer, you know, um, got like like the right kind of batteries for it, you know, um, I'm liking what it's doing and it's just nice to, to feel seen. Thank you. <laughs> um, shout out Conrad and shout out Jonathan R with a member comment. Let's give Jonathan R a... Um, uh, 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 uh. I'm exploding. I'm exploding. Oh. 
Member for 18 months. Good to see you guys. Funny finding out Megan is a woman of culture reading Akatar, it seems. Someone of culture should get their PS5. <laughs> LOL. Shout out Jonathan R. Yeah, she's been having a really good time with it. She's on the second book in the series. Oh, is he is he <clears throat> settled? You could say that. <laughs> you could. You could say that. Uh, let me see. Let me get this frame back up and we should be good to go and jump right in. Yeah, I don't know what's gotten into him today, but <laughs> he's uh he's six months now. So he's like a teenager. So he's mm. not listening to anything I tell him. So it's really fun. It's really cool. Um, and it's a great time. Yeah, and you love it. I really do. I love it. Well, let's just go through the chapter really quickly. Um, sure. Starting at the very beginning, we see, uh, and I, I forget. I'm gonna be real. Who, in their fucking, uh, uh, awakened forms? Who is who? This is Marcus Mars, in his bird form. Marcus Mars. It's gonna take me a, a second to get used to them in there. Um, awakened forms or these other forms that they that they have but he's crashing through the the shield the force field if you will um Jinbei notices him I, I think that he looks so terrifying so menacing a lot of the things happening um in this chapter were genuinely terrifying I mean all of their forms are pretty scary but something about the size and the way that he was kind of just like looming over everybody I don't know. It was really, it was really sending chills down my spine. Yeah, it it was until they got to like boxing with the giants. Because then I'm like, oh, they're small, <laughs> right? Compared, <laughs> like Dory and Brog, you can like mess these guys up because they've been fighting monsters this size. Their yeah, so, their whole life. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, Jean Bay notices obviously the 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 the, the hockey. That um, the hockey on this guy, the hockey on this guy, and runs over to, to to get Zoro, which is what he was sent to do um, in the first place. And we see Lucci. Let me cut away for a second, uh, so we don't get in too much trouble. You already know how it is. We see Lucci fucked up, dude. Fucked. He's a little sliced. I I, I would <laughs> consider this fucked He's up. He's a little sliced up. It, it looks like you know whenever Oda draws like those lines on someone it just signals to me that they're either like i don't know dude like burned or scabbed or like cut up you know and then we have the bigger well, yeah, there's slices the, the bigger slices. slices with the with the blood. or the what do you mean the smaller slices all these all, these all these little all these little oh <laughs> these like hatch marks i think it's like shading I think it's zoro putting in work actually <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> Um, but the thing about Lucci is this chapter, again, it made me kind of respect Lucci. I've gone through an interesting journey, an arc with Lucci. I, I, I used to see him as the as the head of, 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 of the Church of Lucci, a church that I would frequent from time to time. I liked him. I, I kind of loved to hate him. Sure. And then I kind of lost all respect for him. Um, thought he was kind of a buster, if you will. And, and really, now you're back on board? No, I'm like, not back on board, but no, I'm not back on board. But this chapter, I guess, like I gave him some some credit, I guess. I mean, I, I really was like, okay, damn, I still don't like you, but I didn't know it was like, I didn't know you were doing it like that. My bad. It was the girl that brought you back. <laughs> it was the raw XD. Because that brought you back that Lucci did. I mean, it wasn't that. It was just that, like, even Zoro, who a couple chapters ago or a chapter ago was like, yeah, now I'm going to stop messing around. I'm going to stop playing. Game's over. I need to finish this shit. Did that and Lucci's still standing? Come on. My bad. I didn't know it was like that. You used to think he's still a chump, a buster. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Got him. I wouldn't say strength-wise, but I would just say, like, in general, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're right about that. Um, But... 
Um, yeah. So let, let me see Sanji call in to Jean Bay to get bricked up. <laughs> and this was really interesting to me. Um, Five thousand brick. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Uh, this 5, is five thousand bricked up. Five thousand fist bricked up fist. fist. That shit can do a lot of damage. Yeah. Too. Uh, I mean, as someone who has been bricked up, I can never say that I've been. That's okay. Five thousand bricked you, you, up. Oh, you don't need to make that personal. You don't need to make that. You could just say look, we're talking about Jim Bay, and then you always bring it back to like I, me. Well, I mean, I, that's how I relate experience. to stories. That's how I relate to characters. That's how I it's latch just, on. And then to it things. just makes it not funny. And then I don't want to like, I don't want to bring anything up because you you just. You said it makes it not funny? And it, I don't know. I think it makes it pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, let me clarify. It was only the sound that made me laugh, not your fucking oh. bum-ass jokes. Oh, fucking God <laughs> damn it. Uh, oh, my God. I don't know how I feel about Jinbei interfering with this fight, though. Um, he does say that you've already won. <laughs> because he's being, uh, he's just like, let's go. Enough playtime. Playtime's over. It is like, it's your Theo. Mm -hmm. You know, five more minutes at the park. You <laughs> yeah. don't want to fucking listen. I'm going to drag your ass out. It's enough is enough. Well, yeah, but Zoro already seemed to kind of, I don't know. He, he had that line where he was like, okay, I'm going to stop messing around now. And, and what is he just still messing around because he he was acting like he could just he could just end it whenever he wanted to end it but Lucci's still standing and Jimmy, it is funny that he's like you know you've already won this is your victory you know I feel like he had to say that because one piece Twitter would go feral if he didn't if he didn't say it outright and deliberately that people would have a field day. They have three weeks to go crazy. I'm just happy Jim Bay wrapped it up. I kind of am too. I, I'm happy he 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 wrapped it up because enough is enough. Yeah, I'm enough is happy enough. About that too. It's over, and it really is over. It's over. It's done. Let's move on. Let's go. Because he hits him with that five thousand brick fist. fist. Bow. That's just bow, bow, crazy bow, bow, bow. too. <laughs> on the floor. Um, then we see the, uh, I imagine this guy sounding like Robert Pattinson. <laughs> From the boy in the hair the on? The boy in the hair on. Hold on. Let me pull this up. Let me see if we can see him. In That's the how he sounds like. We can. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you guys heard Robert Pattinson's performance of the hair on and boy in the hair on, but. <laughs> your mother. <laughs> your mother. I agree. He would sound exactly like this character is going to sound like that. Yeah. Rob Lucci of Cypher Pool. Age. I what is how do you say that? Uh, Ages zero. Where zero. is York? Where is York? Lucci's face too is kind of crazy. He's shocked. Bro. He's shook. Like you can't like you're not turning into a like a man leopard. Like let's be real. <laughs> right, right. I mean, this is some other shit though. He's, he's like, like, I've never looked in the mirror he's before. Like, man leopard, um, man giraffe. giraffe. I'm chill with. I'm chill with that. That makes I'm sense that. to me. I'm chill with even what's his name? Fuck his zipper mouth, bitch. Yeah. Fuko, what's his name? I forget that fool's name, but yeah. Nasty. Yeah. I'm fine with that. That the makes sense. The minute I see this bitch, this bird bitch flying in the sky, I'm done. I'm, I've had it. But he is shocked. It is like he a, is. it is like seeing like a, like a, a being, you know? Yeah. This is yeah. otherworldly being. I'm a god, demon, whatever. It looks kind of like a homunculus, you know? It's got like a little combination mm -hmm. of everything going mm -hmm. on. Um, but yeah, he, he reports, you know, gives all the information over, tells reports. Uh, yeah, I mean, like reports. brings all the info. And this is where he has this moment uh, where he asks for Kaku's protection or asks that he be spared, find a way to spare him. And again, man, I, I do I, I genuinely like this moment for Lucci. I, I I do. Like as a character, I I like this moment for him. It did just feel it felt crazy. It felt crazy. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect him to care like that. Um 
let me catch up here where we last left off. Maybe because he's like, and 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 like the same when we talk about like Stussy and all that. Maybe he's like, I'm gonna keep the real ones with me. Like I'm gonna look out for the real ones, all the fake bitches. Like I'm done with y'all. Like I think that that's where he's at right now. Where he's like, no, he didn't betray me. Right. Okay. He stayed by my corner. He stayed like by my side, like twin and bestie. Like he's been there. He's been there. Right. And it. That's like I that already already see sketch where he's like, is that what y'all say? What's up, twin? What's yeah, up, yeah, twin? yeah, yeah, twin. <laughs> uh, no, they're like, yeah, that's like his bestie. Like, it might be a little bit more than bestie, but time will tell. Time will tell. Um, fanfic coming soon during the three week break. Megan's there's gonna already start one. There's already there's already one. <laughs> You've been reading that. There's already multiple. Uh, you're, you're just in that, asking. No, you're in that mindset. No, it's not yourself. mindset. I just know these things. Okay. I've learned and they to already not- exist. I've learned to never doubt you. I've learned to stop doubting you. It's not. It's. I didn't create it. I just mean it. It just exists in the world. No, I believe that. So, if anyone's like wondering what that looks like, I believe that because you said it. If if anybody's wondering what that looks like, <laughs> it's it's out there. <laughs> That's a Go, find it. Go find it. Go find it. My treasure. <laughs> <laughs> I left it all <laughs> on one page. And it's just like the dirtiest fucking Go! <laughs> Sail the sea. Sail the internet seas and find it. Uh, uh, it was a cool moment for him, though. You know, and of course, uh, the Gorsa ain't having that shit. He's like, hell no. The, you know, the, he's he's just like Saturn on that insect shit. It's, it is interesting, though, that they think that even people within their own government on their team on their side are still fucking insects they think that anybody who is not them are are insects they are clearly i think again i was saying this a lot during the last chapter they ain't human they ain't human i don't know that these abilities they have are from devil fruits necessarily it's yeah i don't know i'll I'll be right back again okay (laughs) tony's going crazy again Tony. Uh, then we catch up to Luffy seeing Dory and Bragi again, which was really, really um, cute, fun, heartwarming. I'm gonna move it on uh, this. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna not put it on the screen because I feel like we've been showing it a lot. I don't want to get in trouble. But there's an interesting piece of dialogue here, right? Where you know they talk about hardly recognizing him, and and they say they tell. Tell tales about this god in Elbath. Where did you learn about how he looked? Hmm. That's kind of interesting to me because it, 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 it means that in every iteration, we can safely assume that, of course, there have been multiple Joy Boys. Every time there is one, they look like this. They look like Luffy in his Gear 5 form. Do they just look like a man in a Gear 5 form? Or do they look like luffy like exactly like luffy your appearance it's a pleasant surprise um uh, i don't get it but we can talk about it later i i do think that a lot of people speculate that the last joy boy could have been a giant because of the straw hat because of even dory and brogy talking about th- this god uh tales of this god being told mm-hmm. in, in elbath even even the fact that like all of these um creatures um uh, robots like all of these people that seem to have been connected to joy boy in some way are all fucking huge they're all huge and maybe i don't know dude this is what i was talking about in my reading dude and i'm going to try to not spoil anything from that series but we already know that a lot of <clears throat> races have been exterminated, eliminated, right? Made extinct. And maybe that's by Eames design, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe not only was there a world prior to this that was obviously more technologically advanced, a a futuristic world, but maybe Eames is trying to make sure that maybe these, all of these, maybe uh, maybe the people of the past, of the void century, all of them, maybe they used to just be fucking huge. They used to be. Big it's like as a fun. Horton here's a who situation. You're saying. Um, r- refresh my memory on Horton. Uh, pretty much like they are who's, mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, right. And they live on a little dandelion. Right? Yeah. And it is kind of like they they see the same thing about like the Grinch okay. and how the Grinch like who's might live in like snowflakes. Oh, it might shoot. be like an infinite. Like, like the they don't know. In black. Like the what? The locker at the end of Men in Black 2. I will very much be honest with you. I think I've only seen the Men in Black like once and I barely remember it. Okay, that's fine. I see flashes, obviously, Frank, the pug. Right, right. Best mm-hmm. part, obviously. Right. Mm-hmm. Those nasty thing, those nasty right. guys. Right. That, those, the bro. Is it scary. weird that I associate those little aliens from Men in Black? I associate them with Taco Bell. I don't know why. Did they do ad campaigns for Taco Bell? That's very interesting. I, I don't think they did. And that's, that's, that's. I just, in my mind, they go together. Because when I think of Taco Bell, you think of. The Chihuahua. Of course. I mean, that too, yeah. Yeah, what happened to that? I don't know. I think everyone had had a mascot. That was during that time, yeah. Ronald. Yeah, but. I, you Wendy. Know, yeah, but, but. BK. The King, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like. They needed a chi. <laughs> Yo, get on Taco Bell. <laughs> um, anyway. It is. It, uh, anyway, sorry, guys. Um, yeah, it know, might man. it might be a situation. That... Imagine that's the end of one piece. Eam is trying to <laughs> is to control the breeding of certain races. Okay, that's dark. To remain in power, to not have their power threatened or taken away. The world was populated with way more giants and gigantic creatures. The world was bigger, and it was made smaller somehow by Eam. Eam is a Tontata. And this is all fuel oh. for my agenda that Eam is a Tontata. It's not about the story. It's about agenda. I would Which really, I stole from Spicy Kimchi. I'm pretty I, sure. I would really love their, like, my head cannon, And it's, like, not very good. And people don't really like this to be an option because, I don't know, I just would find it really funny. If, yeah, like, Eam isn't necessarily, like, because I don't know if Eam's going to be, like, the big bad. Like, I'm maybe under the impression that, like, Blackbeard might be. Mm-hmm. But how funny would it be if, like, the Gorsi are, like, the main ones, right? And then, like, once everyone takes out the Gorsi, Eam's like, finally, I can live. They've been trapping me here. Oh, fuck. For so long. And finally, like, I can live my life. They've been making me do things I don't want to do. And if it was, like, an immortal, like, child or, like, if it was, like just a person who's like trapped and has been used for their like ability or like weapon, that would be like a cool twist. Oh shit. I mean, we did talk about, I don't know if we talked about it on a stream, but we need to get Nolan, Megan's cousin back on the show. He's, he's been in a couple episodes before, but we were talking about like, you know, Eam not being the final villain and it being Blackbeard because Blackbeard, it's about, you know, the new generate, the next generation and you're you're still on the fucking (laughs) Shanks train. Sorry. But, you know, it's about the the next generation and and Blackbeard being chaos and and having to be the final hurdle that the Straw Hats are going to have to overcome to accomplish their dreams. Yeah, interesting. Anyway, sidetrack. Sidetrack. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we get this little diagram of where everybody's at on the island, and we see Dorian Bragi up against the Gorsei. To Saturn and the, uh, we're just going to say Pumbaa for right now. They just look so funny in the back. They're like, oh, hey. Yeah, they're having a whole ass conversation. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. They're literally right behind. They're right behind me, aren't they? <laughs> they're right it's behind me. It's like that me, shit. Um, no, they really aren't stressing at all. Dorian Bragg, you're not stressed at all right now. No. They're like, oh, this is just another animal. We've literally been taking these bitches down for the last, I don't even know how many hundreds of years. So let's get it. Let's rock it. Um, and this shit made me laugh out loud. It probably wasn't supposed to be a joke at all. Um, but yeah, I'm mad. Like he's like, I got a like he blows the horn to right. set off the um the signal that they have found this, Luffy. Yes, yes. So he's like, there's a signal, and then this bitch is like, let me blow a let me blow a horn of my own. Yeah, and then just bro. yells and oh, <laughs> he lets out this like roar, but it's like, bro. <laughs> Tell me why I don't take you seriously at all. Tell me why he's like, yeah, no, really. I I was reading it and I was like, no fucking way, dude. No way. Oh, 
you're blowing your horn? <laughs> Let me show you my horn. Like, relax, dude. R fucking relax. No, but then he just yelled. <laughs> <Then> he <fucking laughs> Loser. Loser. And this, 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 this does some damage. <laughs> Luffy is in pieces. Bro, this dude was so funny. Again, I, I don't know how you felt about I was talking about it. I don't know how you felt about Gear 5 this chapter, but it was some of my favorite Gear 5 stuff. Oh, yeah. 100% agree. Um, Seeing all well, we of the got stuff. The, we got the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, it's like this. Yeah, or, yeah. Or the I think it's the eyes covered. We got that again. Um, but yeah, this was some of the. This is this is it. This is the bag. His scar, even flying off of him, everything, all his features, everything flying off of him. It, it was so funny. Um, <clears throat> everybody else uh, uh, surrounding the island is is commenting on how crazy everything is. Um, even Tori and Brogy are, are seeing all of this, and they're like, "You're fucking crazy, dude. This shit was crazy." Um. <laughs> There's even a panel of Luffy putting his scars back on and like putting the one that's under his eye, like on his stomach. It's yeah, so funny, so fun. Um, then we see the uh Gorosei that is a warthog <laughs> that is Boomba roll up tusks turning into blades. Dorian Brogy blocking it with their sun shield fallen. Which is, I guess, actually from Norse uh, mythology mm. or, or something of the sort. Um, yeah, I was kind of looking a little bit into that before we went live. But it's an actual, actual thing. Mm. And they're able, dude, these two fucking giants, which are, aren't are just any two giants, okay? They're the captains of the giant pirates that have been training a little garden, fighting over and over for years, every single day. I mean, they're able to knock this fool fucking back. Now, does that mean that they are strong or that the Gorose are fucking chumps? I don't know. Or don't they're underestimating they them. But they're kind of not, though, because they're like, yeah, this could be a fucking problem that the giants are here. Yeah. This is an obstacle. This is this, 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 this fucking face. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me pull it up so everybody else can see it. But yeah. I it's like when SpongeBob. This face. Or what? Who smell? I forget what cartoon it is. I think it's SpongeBob. It's uh, Saturn. Um, Saturn <clears throat> inhaling so that he can shoot out some of those like venomous little freaking blobs. Yeah, he looks like he. It's like I forget what character does it, but he like smells like someone's breath in the movie theater, and he's like, <laughs> "That's what he looks like." It reminded me of that. Yeah, dude. Um, I I also saw a theory that I don't think is going to end up being true. But this is the part of the chapter where we see Luffy grab a tree, chew it down, turn it into a bat. 56 is an Easter egg translating to like Gomu, uh, Gomu, Gomu no Mi Easter egg. Painting it. A lot of people also saying this is Luffy stealing Mihawk's trick. Yeah, I literally just opened Twitter and this is what I see <laughs> here. You want to you pull this bookmark up? Bookmark it. Yeah, bookmark it. People have been passing this image around for forever. <laughs> it, it's just so funny, though. I can't lie. Uh, yeah, this is literally the one underneath this. So funny. Here, I'll pull it up. Um, right. Nice, clean strokes is the key. Oh, you're a pro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was funny because I think even the live action Mihawk like, had one of these pictures of Mihawk painting a sword, like, as his profile picture or something. Mm. I thought that was pretty fun. Um, and this then, is, yeah, this that's the it. Greedy, Greedy ass. ass. Ain't nobody taking them for you. It's so <laughs> funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking dying. Yeah. But, anyway, somebody was saying that there was another, like, uh, couple of gods in, in mythology that were also immortal and were only able to be hurt by themselves. Like they were only mm -hmm. able to hurt each other. And so the possibility of Luffy being able to redirect their attacks at them would do damage, but it doesn't seem like it did any damage. It seems like it did the same amount of damage that all his attacks have, have done. But even still, this section is my absolute favorite. Even when he does hit them back. I hear the crack. Yeah. The baseball cut. They're going to play in the anime. They're going to play like the -na 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 -na, you know what I mean? The, the fucking baseball music or whatever. The and then the crowd's going to go. Ah. 
Yeah. But even when he does hit him back and he and they explode and, they, and they're like, he's so shocked. It's like, it's like oh, fuck? fuck. It's like the craziest, like, nuke blast. Like, yeah. The, the, what is it? The, what are they? Uh, the, like the mushroom cloud. Yeah, the mushroom cloud. Like, so crazy. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Dory Burger, you're like, this is fucking lit. Let's go. And he's like, nah, they're immortal. They can't die. And they comment again. There's a lot of interesting lines from Dorian Brogy. They say that they've never heard of any race or ability granting that kind of power. And given, you know, not only how old uh, giants can live to be, but just like how knowledgeable, how much knowledge they have of, you know, the world. It is kind of crazy. Age. But it is crazy that they've never heard of any race or ability granting that kind of power. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see boss bitch Nami um, boss bitch, on the fucking comms running to the, the sunny and seeing these fucking goofy ass fucking admirals. Chintastic. Chintastic. The whole fucking gang blocking them from being able to escape. Vegapunk is he's still carrying him. Yeah, I mean, there were Jean Bay's got Zoro, Bonnie's there, you know, with with Nami and them. Sanji's carrying Vegapunk. Uh, I just, I don't know, man. I mean, after seeing the Straw Hats go up against the Gorosei, and I'm not saying that like Sanji could have really done anything or Zoro even could have done anything. Um, I don't know. It, I I just don't find these fools like this fool cracking his knuckles, big ass fucking chin and shit. I don't find them that threatening, honestly. I feel like Sanji can can wipe the floor with these fools. I feel like even when Zoro gets there, even as tired as he is, and I don't know, you know, L Luchi was still standing after their fight, but Luchi has an awakened, you know, devil fruit. I don't know what these fools are going to be doing, but I don't know. With all of the straw hats there against these three, I just don't think um, they're going to have much trouble getting, at least getting past them to escape. Like they need to escape. With the giants there too, like goofy. These fools are goofy. Uh, then we get the message that there's going to be a three week break, which is devastating, obviously, but Odin needs his rest. Uh, and then we see our, our guy, Big Bird, talking to York. It's been a while since we've seen York. Uh, and he, he's asking about the room displayed on the monitor. Um, what, what room is he talking about exactly? Um, he's talking about the control room. Hmm. Because okay. she's in the control room right now. I think that's what Luchi said earlier. Yeah. And then we cut to Kizaru, who has really just gone through it, man. This whole arc, he has gone through it. He's chilling though right now. I feel like he's fucking crying. I feel like he's sobbing right now. I feel no, like he's like, ah, just let me rest. You know, just give me five more minutes. I feel like he is that's how so I look. fucked up. In the morning. Emotionally. Uh, That's how you look in the morning? Yeah, I just, uh, Sad? My alarm goes off. Devastated? Like, Fuck. I woke up again. Mm, <laughs> that's dark. Mm, not going to address that any further. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I, I, he's, he's, he's chilling. No, he is not chilling. Everything he's that chilling. this man has been through. Yeah. Everything. He has had to attack and, and uh, it was commanded I, to his, kill people that were fucking so important to him and that actually fucking meant something to him and and he's he's like bro i'm fucking done i'm the shell of a man i was you think he's like a sunbathing on the, on no, the dock he's just lazy <laughs> <laughs> i don't know uh i'm just kidding i just have no you don't care about him you i mean at this moment in time i'd rather see other people get 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 a get helped you know right that's that's all I, that's just what i feel right now Lucci not saying i have any type of moment and you're like fuck both of them i mean i just <laughs> i'm not their biggest fans but it you. says i'm not i don't like i i understand i get it like my wounds run deep it's not just wounds on himself it's wounds of the heart of course of course you get it. i know and i, I understand I know, you, I know you understand i know um I know. but do i necessarily care right now not really and that's okay that's fine i might care later maybe you will maybe you won't maybe i will maybe i won't 
Um, and then we see the 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 giant robot, which again, I, I talked about this in the anime reaction that we did, and we react to all the the egghead uh, anime episodes for our Patreon and YouTube members, even though they don't all make it to to YouTube because we just don't have the time to do it. Anyway, when we saw the, I think it was one of the more recent episodes, the first appearance of Vegapunk in the anime, and Luffy is Luffy and Chopper are kind of like inspecting this robot. It was the first time I had really understood, even though I had seen it in the manga. Again, sometimes like scale, it's it just I, it's harder for me to track. I don't fucking know. Anyway, when I saw it in the anime, I was like, God damn, that bitch is huge. And seeing it again here, it's like, oh, yeah, this is a fucking titan. They even call it a, 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 a titan in the middle of an inferno. And uh, yeah, it, it's it's absolutely insane. They also comment that it seems to be growling something. Those words being, forgive me, joy boy. An apology for what? Holy fucking shit, dude. Shooty. Now, that was an incredible chapter. But it leaves us on a question. An apology for what? I, I really do believe that um, this giant robot betrayed Joy Boy in some way. These are all, I don't know if they're members of his crew, of Joy Boy's crew, or just friends that Zunisha? he made along the way. Zunisha and this robot, yeah. Yeah, maybe they're on his crew. But I, 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 don't, I don't know what else he could be apologizing for. And I'm interested to see what everybody else thinks. Um, I mean, is it kind of like, are we all of, under the impression that Eam took out the previous Joy Boy? <clears throat> I mean, maybe. Maybe they're like, sorry, we couldn't like save you. Yeah, that that could be it too. Or sorry, we it took us so long, or because, yeah, they like it would have to manifest into the fruit again and have someone else. Mm -hmm. find that ability I guess and like inherited will and all that stuff so I'm not sure why they'd be apologizing because it's like I'm sorry it took us so long it's like well that's not yeah it, it, it needed to happen in this way but like you said maybe it is I'm sorry we couldn't save you I'm sorry I couldn't save you I'm sorry you know that I didn't do more um or it, it could have been a betrayal my mind immediately jumps to betrayal I don't know why I'm like what's the spiciest thing it could be sorry do? I stole your girl Oh, that's fuck. what he's really apologizing for. Maybe, could be. That's something to apologize for. Better late than never. And the was like, "Is that <laughs> mistress to your girl?" Um, I don't hear him. I don't hear anything. It's just weird. It, it, it's just weird. Um, and I wonder. I I I thought before that Dory and Brogy weren't going to make it off this island. And and a part of me does still believe that, but I also think that uh, this giant robot is going to be able to do more than I might have initially thought. Looking at its silhouette on the horizon, like no, of, this fool, of Egghead, I knew this fool was going to be to play. I had I had it written a long time ago to consciousness. Uh, it's going to awaken. It's going to do some damage, and it's going to be their way out. Now I did write in the book of L's. Did you? I did write that. Oh, I wrote a couple things that in in the same theory quote unquote that I think aren't going to pan out to be true but I did say that there was going to be a consciousness inside of the giant robot which I think in this chapter that is confirmed but I also said uh, maybe it just regained its consciousness maybe it's not a what do you mean like no, it's, just like, it's just going to have it's going to be it's going to be sentient it's going it's not a machine to become sentient again it's a per, it's there's you know it's got a mind um, and in that same line, I had said that I think that Dory and Brogy were going to like know about this, um, about entity, the... this person, this, this, this machine, they were going to have knowledge of it, but I, I, you know, and maybe they, I mean, maybe they do, maybe they don't, I don't know, but we'll see. I, yeah, I I'm half right so far. I literally have no idea. We just don't have enough info. Yeah. I don't think we were even there yet. I think we could be like, this could happen to bed. There's just, it's not going to make sense until it's revealed to us yeah and that's in three weeks 
there are just so many interesting things, man. And 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 I think it's gonna sound kind of crazy, but I think uh, reading Miss Porn has given me like a new lease on the possibilities and the things that could potentially come to be in, in One Piece because there are there are some similarities there, bro. Play whatever fucking song you're. I in. was the circus. I know, I know. I I felt bad. I oh, I yeah, restrained. No, it's okay. It's okay. I restrained it. <clears throat> because I, it's a Friday, and not a. It's a Friday, and it's more of a Friday. Mm -hmm. So, a hold back. I just think there could be some similarities if you've read that series, the Lord Ruler and Eam, what the Lord Ruler was able to do, what the Lord Ruler did to, to okay. the people, to the geography, to the. We're talking about One Piece here. I'm talking about One Piece too, to the geography. You know what I'm saying? And then there are all these people coming back. I'm, I'm fucking, that's just where my head's at. I apologize. I apologize for talking about anything else, Megan. I forget that I'm not allowed to do that. You're not. We're talking about One Piece. You can't relate it to anything else that you've read, watched, or seen. Thank you. Bro, lost for real. I'm going to pull up the chat and see what everybody else is saying before we talk any, any further. And we actually do have some super chats and donuts to catch up on. Um, Where did we leave off? Oh, Conrad, by the way, while you were gone, I don't know if you heard this, said also respectfully in a Jinbe way and not in a Sanji way, which is the, a great way to start out any sentence. Wagon gets prettier and taller every time I take a break. <laughs> and Josh's stash gets sexier. Whoa. Yeah, crazy. Double comply. That was crazy. Mente. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you, Conrad. Shout out, Conrad. Don't apologize, King. <laughs> <laughs> Conrad again saying, Josh, actually, let me give Conrad a sound. Braver. Josh, I will read that to Megan, then does it. Oh, I just did. Oh, oh I just oh. did, though. Yeah, but like that was like an hour ago. Oh, you know what's so funny is I did, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm getting I'm getting back in like the Conrad, like back and forth. I'm getting used to it again. Uh Quattro. Shout out Quattro. Quattro. Just got paid. So here's a few bucks. And the rest is going towards March Madness betting. Time to get rich overnight. Um, good luck, brother. Good luck. And um, let's just say this, dude. I, first of all, appreciate the 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 super chat. Appreciate Thank the donation. You. Uh means the world to us. I, I cannot tell you how much it means to us. But take it a step further. But what? Depends let us on, in your bracket. Let us in. <laughs> get, get us in on that bet. Uh, get us in on that bet. Maybe we can, you know. My, uh, I think it was like my fifth grade or sixth grade teacher. Mm -hmm. He like taught us all of the college basketball teams and like made us make our own March Madness like bracket. And I was like, how is this helpful at all? That's crazy. What, what, what did he teach? Uh, I English. You know how, like elementary school, there was like a teacher that taught like two things. Sometimes. Uh, I, I've heard stories of that. I've heard legends, <laughs> whispers. <laughs> Never experienced it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it happened. Oh. And uh, yeah, that's all the only like um, knowledge I have about that. Interesting. March Madness stuff. I just like the name. It's a good name. It's a great name. It's a good name. Um, shout out to Arend. Arend. Who gifted five yeah. volume one podcast memberships. Let's fucking go. And a Thank beautiful life matching Arend's gifting and also gifting five volume one podcast memberships. Your you. kitchen. Let's go. Yeah. A beautiful life. Shout out Arend Woo. and a beautiful life. Shout out Hassan Batla. Ah. Um, this chapter confirms Mr. Three. <laughs> Is Gorose level. It does. I forgot who we were talking. Oh, we were talking to Randy about that. Um, and uh yeah, we were just we were just laughing about it. We're gonna up update you on some stuff too. I I, I don't know if we announced who our third uh, guest was on, on this like new interview show, Adulting Anime that oh. we're doing. What? I forgot to get a picture. Well, I mean, we, I mean, the picture is going to be a screenshot. Are you going to, were you going to take a picture of the thing? We're going to update you on all that stuff. Yeah, send me some... a screenshot after we record. I will. 
I will. Thank you. Like a good one, though. Okay. Okay. We're going to also share with you like when you can expect that and then reveal who that third guest was. But yeah, Randy was the second guest we had in studio. So fun. So sick. Can't wait for you guys to see that episode. Um, Mr. Fan 09. Oh, my God. Shout out, Mr. Fan. Obviously, Iron Giant, Zunisha, and Joy Boy were in a band. Oh, a band who wrote Binks Sake, but had to break up because they got jealous of Joy Boy getting the limelight as the lead singer and sold him out to Emu. And Emu, I believe, was probably the record label. That's crazy. Emu is the fucking record label, dude. I, I get that vibe. Yeah. They don't own their own tracks. No. Like the drums? It was the like, drums of liberation? They don't yeah. own the masters. Yeah, they shit. don't. He was like the record label and also the guy who like introduced uh, Joy Boy to like hard drugs. And then it was just like all no, down. No, he though. was the one who encouraged Joy Boy to go solo. But then also introduced him to hard and, drugs. Right. And it was like the, <laughs> right. yeah, it was just the chaos shit storm. Eam was like the colonel yes. to Elvis. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. I'm going to make you a star. Yeah. But what's the other line? He's why? Yeah, yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's why. <laughs> Crazy ass fucking movie. Shout out Mr. Fan. That shit made me laugh. Uh, Luis Sugar, I remember for 15 months. Thank you, Luis. Amore. Shout out Luis. Oda's comment before the chapter today got me saluting the One Piece X Puma collab shoes come out today. Good luck if anyone else is copying. They're so nice. There's also another collab. I don't know if it's Puma, but it's like a Hunter Hunter shoe collab, and that shit looks fire. I saw that shit. That shit looks straight fire. I, I gotta yeah. pull up the Puma collab too. I mean, I, I want them so bad. Probably not in the in the budget right now, but I, I really do wish. Yeah. I really do wish. Um and we're gonna pull up Oda's message too. Someone said we missed a member comment. Um, I'll scroll up. But... Let's see. Oh, 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 oh! Bend over. We did. Oh, we did. sorry, bend over. Sorry, Ben. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a um, more. Um, love you, Ben. So, so sorry. Uh, Kizaru may be light, but his heart is heavy, Holy dude. Holy shit! Holy shit, bro! I'll get that on a shirt. I'll get that fucking um, uh, what's it called? Tattoo. Embroidered. Embroidered. I don't on know your about... skin. No, that's kind of like what tattoos are. Uh, kind of, uh, kind of embroidery of the skin. Can you imagine like putting your arm in like an embroidery machine, and then just getting something written? But it was like you know, but it, it was like thread. Fabric. It was like yeah, 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 yeah. Oof, crazy. But I'd get it. I've I'd seen it. people like the the um, piercings where they get mm -hmm. on their back, and then they could like lace that shit like ribbon crazy. and stuff throughout it. What's the one? The what's the one on the on the on the on the genitalia? The the Prince Charles or whatever. It has a name. Oh yeah. The Prince oh, yeah. Charles. Something like that. It's I'm like, gonna look it up. Don't. Um. Don't. What would I even look up? Uh, don't. Uh, you can look up Prince Charles piercings and just let's just get a reaction close up on your face let's when, see. when you see um. Prince Charles, piercing. Uh, click on images. Go ahead. I don't want to. Click on images. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, no, I see. I'm not looking at images. <laughs> I see right here uh, the Prince Albert piercing. Ah, Prince Albert. How could I? It's have inserting forgotten. of a barbell through mm. the area. Through the uh, a barbell. Through the. Uh, that's the same sound you make when you get it done. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh God, that's just not practical. Mm -mm. What if it like fell off or got ripped out? I used to know a guy it, who had a nipple piercing and it got ripped out, and it and the way it healed was like a bubble. That's why. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I know people that they're like, yeah, like they're cool, and I'm like, no. Yeah. There's too much risk involved. I think for the reward. Mm -hmm. It's just not. It's just not cool enough. I think. Yeah, he called himself Bubble Nipple, aka Alfred Hugecock, and he was a. Oh wow! He was a really, he was a he was really, a really cool guy. awesome guy. He, he sounds really cool. fucking sick, actually. He was really cool. Um, Jonathan R. Shout out Jonathan R. Jonathan R. Thank That's you so much. More. I know why your teacher did that Al Alcatar legend, Megan. It was so you could recognize the colleges when it came time for you to apply to them. That was your teacher being sneaky like me. Get a PS Five. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm exploding. Uh, I'm exploding. That's honestly oh. probably why he did it. That's actually a really yeah, that's good actually, point. Yeah, because I was like, is he just making these kids? Like, imagine I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking back on it, and we like had to get money from our parents and we all pulled it together and we actually like bet no we didn't i was joking but like i keep remembering things i'm <laughs> yeah. like wait that was weird yeah. um but uh shout out to all of you guys for the member chat of uh, the member comments the super chats you guys are the fucking best we're gonna get into our segment heavy as a head that wears the l but i kind of want to look at Oda's message before okay. um, to give me a little bit more time to to think i know most people have probably read it but uh, i just want to look at it all of us together. Again, I'm going to be looking at our tours translation of it because, yeah, I, I I had heard or Megan had had let me know that some mistranslations could potentially be circulating. So I just want to make sure we were reading the right one. But it says break time. Indeed, I'm indulging in a break for the next three jump issues. Recently, after the passing of Toriyama Sensei, I feel people may be worrying about my health more, but to reassure you I'm not sick right now or anything. It's just that I still wanted to give myself some time to rest. Think of it as trying to focus on self-maintenance. Goaded. Legend. King. Um, and I want to give proper thought. This is the craziest line to me. And I want to give proper thought about what One Piece will be all about like the busy man I am. Dramatic punctuation. Um, I, I was talking to Megan about it before we started recording that... Yeah, even though Oda clearly has a roadmap, clearly has a plan with his schedule, with everything he's doing, mm -hmm. I think these breaks are are some of the most important breaks that he could go on outside of for his health and, and things like that. But like, because he might know what is going to happen. Like, I want this to happen. I want this person to fight this person or for this thing to be revealed but like how it is revealed the pacing of it all the framing of it all you know what i mean like i don't know i just think this is like really really important because week to week is great but i'm sure it's it's easy to get like too to to see things like too up close and it's nice to have the luxury to like be able to step back and get a little bit more perspective about like the story you know does that make sense yeah well i'm sure he like plans out the chat like it's not like oh yeah. sitting down the week before to plan out what i'm gonna write but maybe it's like what like the things that are coming up are so significant that he wants to like do, make sure he he is like doing them absolutely right like mm -hmm. the best mm -hmm. he can do them because again like yeah this series is gonna go on forever uh, or live on forever and people are gonna read it over and over forever and so i don't know i i to me that's what it feels like i could be reading into it but i just i love that i love that he's doing that i really do uh, over the break in the egghead arc i thought for those who are like i don't remember exactly what the relationships between these characters are and he drew um a lot of the characters that have been featured in this arc we decided to make their flashback stories available to read for free on the japanese official shonen jump plus.com site from the first, is that right? From the first to the 21st? Uh, April right? 1st to the 21st. Okay. There it is. Uh, furthermore, on Netflix, aside from the One Piece live action, there's also the Monsters anime adaptation from one of my early one shots. So please give that a watch if you haven't already. Incredible. Super sick. Very short. If you haven't watched it, what are you doing? Watch it. It's awesome. Uh, and on YouTube, the anime is live stream streaming nonstop for like eight days straight on the Anytime One Piece stream. Also, coming to TikTok on the 23rd. Mm. With that said, see you after three issues on Shonen Jump King. King. I love this, man. Like I said, as a fan, it, it, it's going to be hard, but I'll survive. Uh, shout out to Arend. Arend, thank you. Super chat. He will rest, but cook at the same time. This man. Yeah, that's all he's going to be doing. Pots and pans fucking everywhere, dude. Uh, he stays cooking. He stays. These breaks have been so good for the pacing of the story, said Mr. Fan. 
I agree. I agree. Ty said, hopefully more mangakas also take the time for more breaks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, all right, Megan. Are you ready to get into our segment? Known across the globe as heavy is the head that wears the L. I just flash everybody when it comes back. <laughs> uh, I, one day, one day that graphic is going to, because we it's like a little curtain we can hide behind for a second. And I just want to, woo, when, when we come, okay, when we come back. Um, and talk to the people, keep them company. I got to set everything up. <clears throat> Sorry. My throat really hurts me. Um, very, very hype stuff. The chibi drawings are so adorable, Winston said. They really are. I love when he draws uh, chibi characters. It's very fun. Very cute. Um, I am trying to rack my brain or, uh, and think of any theories I might have. Uh, it's very hard. No pressure. When... <laughs> Thinking about where the story can go, if it will like start with a flashback, will it start with Vega Punk's message? Oh, I think that's solid, Megan. I really do. Not sure. I think if if you believe that, I think that's a great prediction to write down. Ah. Uh. This book gets heavier and heavier, or I get weaker and weaker. I don't think we're going to go through and, and stamp things yet because I don't think there is anything to stamp um, because Dory and Broggy are, are uh, still alive and well, which I wrote that they're, they're going to be the ones to stay behind and die to help the Straw Hats escape. Um, you had said the arc will end with, with Vegapunk's message, and I said Luffy Gear 5 will run out during the next chapter. So I actually... Got no. that incredibly wrong. So there will be something that we stamp today. It shouldn't surprise anybody that I get a big fat L. Bro, lost for real. For that one. Because oh. not only did Gear 5 not run out this chapter, but it was one of the coolest Gear 5 It ran chapters. up. It ran up. It really did. It really did. Megan, I, I really do think you should write that down. It's going to be an L, though. You really, if yeah, you don't, I'm going to steal it. That's not fair. Uh, you think it's going to be an L? Then you want it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty likely. I think that's pretty likely. Okay. But I don't want to get in your head. I just don't have anything in there. <laughs> <laughs> in your head? Yeah. Well, what it's if all we, mush. What if we both co-sign that theory? That the Sure. I'll do that. Because I think that it's very <clears throat> likely that when we do come back after three weeks, the chapter that we come back to will be Vegapunk's message. Okay? So I'm going to write that down. When the manga returns, the first chapter will be Vague punk's message. <gasps> Sorry. Mike Smith with a member comment. Mike Smith has been a member for 23 months. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Uh, coming in late. Happy Friday. Great chapter, but going to be a th long three weeks. Yeah. It's crazy that also, uh, I mean, you know, we're spoiled either way because. It's still earlier than the official, but it's just, it's kind of also taking some getting used to being used to covering it, the chapters and reading the chapters like every Thursday. It's kind of weird that yeah. it's on Friday now. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit different. Uh, I don't know why I closed the book. That was just one. Yeah. Uh, I also have some things that I don't think are uh, going to be L's, but that also haven't been like confirmed yet. <clears throat> Let me just scan the chapter really quick. 
I've already. Do you think that Lucci's going to save Kaku? Um, a lot of people have speculated that that because the Gorose had said we're not going to, uh, it's going to be hard to locate an insect inside of a hive or whatever. Then Lucci would take it into his own hands. Right, and this could be like it could be like a turncoat moment for Lucci, which I don't, I don't necessarily no. agree with that. No, no way. No, he's just trying to save his homie. I think so, too. That's, I mean, yeah. But how much can he really do right now after what Zoro and Jinbei mm. did to him? I don't know. Um, What the fuck else? <laughs> because what a lot of the, the other things I've been thinking about are, are, are just like way more out there. And um, there's no way that we'll ever know if they're even kind of sort of maybe true-ish until way, way later. But Luchi and Kaku, there's something that we could speculate about there. Mm. Um, I, I mean, that feels pretty safe. I might I might write that down. Um, I would say... The giant robot's apology... I like what you said about it being like, I'm sorry we couldn't do more. Or I'm sorry we couldn't save you. Forgive me, Joy Boy. Is it forgive me for what I have done or forgive me for what I am about to do? <clears throat> <clears throat> it, it has, you know, <sighs> seen, seen battle, seen war. I forgive me joy boy i i would think um hmm it it seems similar to when the drums of liberation played and zunisha was there it seems like obviously this robot is even powered by these drums so it's just <laughs> joy boy nika's energy Zunisha was aware that Joy Boy had returned. So the giant robot here um, would also be aware that it is awake because of Joy Boy's return. So I believe this this Joy Boy forgive me line could even be read like Joy Boy forgive me for what I am about to do. But what would he do? But what would he do? I don't, I don't know. What would he do? Try to attack Joy Boy? That, that that would be I think that would make it too difficult. What if I just go crazy? I mean, anything's possible. But I don't know about that one. What if I, I I mean I like going I like going out there. I like going places that nobody goes and I like getting L's. I like taking big L's. So I'm that's what I'm gonna write down. And maybe there's a reason for the giant robot doing that you know similar to how i mean look at how much time we've spent with kuma who we were told was a tyrant who we were told eam is the previous joy boy i mean a lot of people have speculated that i don't know i don't know um if there's anything to necessarily disprove that I, it just seems like that would be a little too easy mm. i guess uh i'll be right back i have to go pee okay Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to write it down. The giant robot. The giant robot. Is. Asking for forgiveness. Spelled, <laughs> spelled that wrong. Um, for what. He is about. To do. Which will be attacking Joy Boy uh, aka Luffy. Uh, let me make sure I get the date right. Three. I I'm just saying, you know, because uh, we, 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 all these things we heard about Kuma, Kuma the Tyrant, 
but he was doing all of the things he was doing for very like noble kind honest reasons i don't know maybe there's there's a reason that the the giant robot's gonna have to stop joy boy take joy boy out maybe he was an ally and now is some sort of enemy i believe also that this giant robot and i'm gonna be looking at the chat right now to make sure i'm not crazy or gaslighting myself hmm but didn't this robot attack marjois 200 years ago weren't we told that because maybe this was an ally of joy boy and something happened during that attack 200 years ago that changed things there was some sort of deal that was struck there was some sort of like thing that was held over this robot's head um brandon king said the more and more time passes the more i think laugh tale literally looks like luffy's imagination v peak fiction what's dope is joy boy's return and the robot rise with the dawn I mean, that, yeah, that is super dope. Mr. Fan 9 hard to explain what happened 200 years ago and then ordering it destroyed if was, again, Joy Boy. Elizabeth saying yes. Hmm. Verm, I think we can see the robot attack Luffy as it stands now. The elders aren't really doing much to prevent our gang from leaving, so this will add more opposition. Shout out, Verm. <clears throat> and Winston coming in. If those who have apologized to Joy Boy, what if it's because they weren't there for their friend? But with Luffy, that won't ever happen. That's why um, his ability to draw people together is important. They weren't there for their friend. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, Gear 5 was awakened 200 years ago by a fish man. He wanted freedom for his people. 200 years is when fish man wanted equality. Mr. Fancy Ernest, so there was no deal. It was meant to be destroyed. The scientists saved it secretly. Uh, okay, I just wanted to get a gauge where everybody was at with it to see if I was like that fucking crazy, which I, you know, I am. Uh, I get L's all the time. But I think there could be something there. I really do. So the giant robot, these are, these are where we're at. I think this is where we're going to be. <clears throat> and there, there's, I mean, we could say that Luffy's going to, I mean, Luchi is going to <clears throat> risk Kaku. I think they will be reunited. But I, I don't necessarily feel like I need to write it down. Okay. Personally. When the manga returns, these are the two that we have. When the manga returns, the first chapter will be Vegapunk's message. We'll finally start to hear it. Mm. And that is me and Megan saying that. Right? Or just me? I think just you. You don't want to say that? No. Did I say that I was wanting well, to say I, that? I said, like, what if we both go in on it? And on like, both? No, on that one. Oh, I thought it was uh, what I forgot. Okay, what? I'll I'll just I'll mark you off. Sorry, no, okay. <laughs> no, I forgot what it was again. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, because I already remember returns, writing one. When the manga returns, the first chapter will be Vegapunk's message. There was another one after that. The giant robot is asking for forgiveness for what he is about oh, to do. I I thought we saw something about a flashback. Well, that was that was a different week. No, 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 no. We talked about it today right um i said it was start with like a flashback and you're like that's really good and i was like oh, oh i thought you were talking about i thought that was vegapunk's message oh i'll, I'll write that down though so how, how, how would you want to phrase that mm, i changed my mind oh mm -hmm. my god i just thought it was that oh that's uh god. i still no because i don't want to go in it because i already put in that dark will end with vegapunk's message yeah that's the beginning. But Vegapunk's message is going to be multiple chapters, for sure. Yeah, but it could be the end of the arc, not the beginning of the next chapter. Okay. Break week. Okay. Unless that's the last chapter. Mine's very specific. Okay. I get it. You don't want to mess with previous predictions, previous things that you've written down. Mm -hmm. You don't want to contradict yourself. I do that shit all the time. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I say, I write something down that directly contradicts something else I had previously wrote, hoping to get a W somewhere. Um, but it is what it is. All right. I guess then that will conclude our segment. Heavy is the head. 
that wears the L. I want to like redo. I wish. I mean, maybe we'll have more time coming up soon. Maybe, hopefully. But I kind of want to like redo the the graphics and stuff for that segment. You know, change it up a little bit. But I kind of like it the way it is too. At the same time, I don't know. It's difficult. Um. All right. Let's just update some people on what we got cooking. What we got coming up, because this is actually going to be a pretty busy break week um, or three weeks for us. Uh, two of the things, one of the things we'll be doing on Sunday, we'll keep you posted about. And the other thing should be happening at the beginning of April, which we can't and don't want to say too much about because they are other people's streams, other people's things that we're going to be hopping on, that we're going to be doing. Um, we've also been hit up by, I'm, I'm going to just say this person because I, you know, I don't. I don't think this person would would mind too that's much. That's more. We were also hit up by Par to come and do something. Mm -hmm. So I think that's something that we'll probably end up doing. <clears throat> and I have been fucking grinding my little butt off, trying to get this first episode uh, with Brent Mukai, the voice of a poo, Gyoko from Demon Slayer. I've been trying to, to 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 get it to a point where it can come out soon, and it kind of worked out this way. I'm gonna try my best to get through the episodes that we still need to get through and have them release as additional videos like during this break period the brent mukai episode is almost done like so close to being done i've just wanted to make it um the graphics uh, you know I, I i i've just wanted to make it as as good <clears throat> as it could be going through the edit like looking at it again yesterday like i'm really excited for you guys to see it i think we're both really excited for you to see this new show so that brent episode should be coming out like i said it's almost done it, it should be coming out next week and i would even say by thursday next week that episode will be out and i'm excited i'm so excited because i you know we've been working on this stuff a lot sort of like behind the scenes so i just i just want to be able to and I'm excited to finally be able to show everybody like what we've been cooking, what we've been working on, you know? Um, the third guest, so it's Brent, then it was Randy Troy, which will be coming out after Brent, but the third guest is a guest that we have not announced, <laughs> but will be dropping here and now exclusively for the people in this live or watching this back later, whatever. Um, should we say it or should I get a screenshot? Oh, whatever. What do you think? Well, uh, just say it. Just say it? Do you have the drum roll? Yeah. The third guest on Adulting in Anime will be Grand Oh, I like we're saying it together. Oh, Grand Sorry, I didn't Rodrigo. know you were saying it together. I know. He's <clears throat> like... Sorry. It's your. Yeah. Your. I'm sorry. Um, but yes. Bro, I am so excited. I mean, all these episodes have been so fun to record. I think we've gotten like progressively better and better at like doing them, like as we've done multiple. Um e everybody has been so fun to talk to, has been so amazing. And Liam was he was so funny. He brought out like this like energy in me um, that I I don't know. I, I really had a great time talking to him because we've never I don't think like outside of maybe like via Twitter or, or anything like that. I don't think we've ever like spoken to each other directly. Mm -mm. So I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I figured he would obviously be great to talk to. Um, but I just didn't know how great it was so fun. He's got such a cool energy. I really liked the episode we recorded with him. And so that'll be the third one, um, to come out. So yeah, we have two, maybe three other guests booked on the calendar. Like I said, we're trying to go through as many as we can so that we can have them banked, take our time, um, with them being released. But yeah, we'll reveal them like once they're in the bank. 
So yeah, that, that yeah. that's that's who the third episode will be featuring, and we couldn't be more excited <laughs> to finally get the chance to sit down and talk with Crane Live with you. It was sick. It was super sick. Um, I'm trying to think um, of oh yeah, we got the Chainsaw Man of the Bank to. We got some other stuff in the bank. Um, the, the Code Geass stuff is going to be coming out. Our cosplay episode for the final episode of season one will be happening in like a week or two. I think two weeks. I know. I hope my contacts come in time. But you've been grinding, dude. You've been cutting that wig up, styling that wig. It looks so sick. Megan's cosplay already came. It looks fire, dude. It looks so cool. It looks re really good. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, I'm excited. That's going to be an interesting episode. It's going to be interesting because any episode that we do in full cosplay presents challenge. Each cosplay presents new challenges. Yeah. I was also just talking about the episode because it's the last episode of Gia. So I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. That's true. I can care. I can give a shit about the cosplay. <laughs> you're like wearing yeah. it. I, I'm so comfortable in it. You um, you're like oh, the wig, the outfit, and I'm like just sitting here. I'm like I've been in, I've been in worse conditions in cosplay before. So. Yeah, you're better at that than I am, dude. I suck, man. I'm a baby. I'm like, oh, it's too hot. Oh, the hair's in my mouth. I yeah. can't. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I'm a baby. Grow up. You know that's what I tell. Like, grow up. That is what you tell me all the time. Which is interesting because you're older than I am. <laughs> and I should and I'm the one that needs to grow up. And it's right. an interesting fact. Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty much every guest that we've had on, I think, is thirty four years old. Or or either exactly or around. I, I don't exactly or around. Like that's crazy. Like you guys were born in the same year. It's so nice because I'm used to being on the opposite end of it, right? Being called the old man all the time. It's nice to to be able to throw it back your way and be like, who's this freaking youngster over here, you know? Oh, ow. <laughs> oh, hurt me. Oh, it. got him. Um, off brand with off a brand. It's your kitchen. donation. Let's celebrate their twentieth super chat, super shoot, shoot, super it, on a live stream. Holy shit! Wow. That's crazy. Let's go. That's so cool. Um, what if Nika's weapons are at Elbaf, a spear and knife? Bro, that would be actually crazy. That would and, and be it, and crazy. It to me, it wouldn't seem that far. Fetched. No, um, it would not. If you think about it, especially, bro, I'm telling you, when we get to Elbaf, I mean, it's it's just Elbaf, and then it's fucking Laugh Tale. I think that's the only trajectory. There's nothing else in between. Mm -mm. There's no other uh, a pit stop. Mm -mm. Because think of everything that is on Elbaf right now. All of the the the, the books that were left from O'Hara. Um, we, I mean, Saul's probably going to be there. You know, you got the red hairs that we, the red hair pirates that we think, you know, may or may not be there, but that is their territory, you know, like so much is going to pop off, bro. If, 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 if because like spear and knife and weapons were there, it's so crazy. I, I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I mean, I am ready. Ready. I, I'm fucking so fucking ready. <laughs> but yeah. Um, v Peak Fiction said at Ty, yeah, I was thinking since Joy Boy could be frozen maybe 200 years ago, finally die. The power reincarnating into fruit <gasps> caused a little push to robot to move. V Peak Fiction is what you're saying. Megan, this is a fucking brain blast right now. Is what you're saying that Eam knew that by just killing Joy Boy, it would it wouldn't be enough, because the fruit would then regrow somewhere else, and it would be harder to track down. So instead of killing the previous Joy Boy, entrapment, entrapped they entrapped him, froze him, imprisoned him, and it was only two hundred years ago that he finally died. That was what caused the robot, the giant robot to wake up. Is that what you're saying? Because that shit is cracked and I love that. That's amazing. 
Oh, yo, I like that. Kevin Hinosa. Good smell. Traver. Said, woo, happy to see you <laughs> grow. You guys are amazing. Kevin, you're amazing, dude. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, this is just the beginning, the tip of the tip of the iceberg, you know. I, I mean, the the goal with the, that <clears throat> interview show is to be able to hopefully, like, my dream guests are still RDC, you know. Um, I'm trying to think of who other, uh, what other dream guests that I have. I know yours. One of yours is glass reflection. Your childhood. Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's just so funny to me. He's great. He's great. He's wonderful. He's one of the best in the game. Um, but yeah, man, we're excited. We're excited. <laughs> I'm not, I don't even, I didn't mean to laugh like that. I'm sorry. It's disrespectful. I but, didn't laugh at your guest. I didn't laugh at your dream guest. That's true. That's true. Uh, I watched the, they, they just put out, RDC just put out a, a devil fruit skit sketch recently too. So funny. Every one of their sketches is a hit, but the one that they released before that was like a Marvel like meeting uh, sketch about like <laughs> the previous phase or the previous movies or whatever. And it might be one of the funniest sketches they've ever done. And it's not even like the, the sketch itself and the writing is so funny, like so funny, but the acting, like the way that they're delivering the lines is so funny. insane. And I was on the fucking floor <laughs> plus with the, like the little message in between too. Or yeah. at the end, like I was dying. I fucking love them. I yeah, love their that energy. Shit's good. RDC, come to the show. <laughs> I feel like I, that was like I was like show. fucking Pennywise and shit right now. RDC, RDC, come to the show. Come to the show. You kind of were right now. Holy shit. Uh, Terrence Matthews. It's your kitchen. What can I say? He's an Another awesome guy. Another beautiful member of this community whose name I feel like I haven't seen in a while. Love Terrence Matthews. My boy Luffy is a Yonko. Luffy is a god. He is, he is, he is the top. He is the top of everything. He is, he's doing, he's doing shit nobody could even fathom. That's true. I, he is, yes, he is, he is a Yonko. He is that guy. He is that god. I, I, I'm in love, dude. I'm in love. Best MC of all time. I'm in love with the Yonko. That's fire. Can we do a Weird Al no, parody of that? Oh, no. I'm in love with the Yonko. Remember that song came out? I remember when that song came out. Uh, I was like in high school and I was like, what's Coco? Don't act like you didn't fucking know. I didn't know at the time. I wasn't that bad. Give me some credit. Don't act like you didn't fucking know. Give me some credit. Well, that wasn't until later in life or what? Probably senior year. But we're not gonna get into it. I didn't know at the time. Uh oh, Verb saw it. Yeah. What's up, twin? What's up, twin? twin? That shit was so funny, dude. Um Soma with the dono. Shout Thank out you, Soma. Soma. <laughs> uh the Gorse are scared that Vegapunk is going to leak their nudes on live. <laughs> Bro, I don't even want to fucking see that shit. I don't want to see it, man. Can you imagine? Just Wait, I mean, what? Why are you? That there's was, a couple of them. You're a fucking psycho. <laughs> I said, I, I said maybe one. Okay. One. Fucking Mars, the bird. Yes. The bird man. I mean, he's obviously the clear choice. Um. Let me look him up again. I'll say, I'll say if I would. How about that? The five elders. <laughs> okay. Out of the five, five elders, elders. Nude. Five elders. <laughs> nude leak <laughs> looking that up right now uh, yeah that, i mean that's really why soma that's really why they're they're sweating right now dude. no okay no, no 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 before saying to mars it would be uh shepherd oh uh, peter he's probably Jude the peter. best he's probably the best one i can see it. i mean he's got he's got he's got no uh, oh mercury no 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 wait 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 yeah 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 he's he's yeah for sure Okay. I think he's got the best build. So there's maybe like two. Like two that you would care to see. Two. Two that I'd be interested in. I mean, I'd be in it's like the, it's like, you know, it's like a like watching a fire or like you can't take your eyes off it. Like car crash. Oh. It would right. be a kind of like I have to see it if it gets leaked. Like I yeah, have I'm to. Yeah, I'm not gonna I, lie. I mean I I wouldn't look away. I would be very I would be very curious. Yeah. Um, but those would be like, Oh, I'm more interested. I'm more inclined to 
like those you might just you might look a little longer at it depends though it depends on what we're talking about because let's be real like like male nude photos there's only a couple things you could be doing you know what i mean yeah there's not a lot of options and some of them are just not it's just not very tasteful right and it's just not oh oh, you know it's like oh that's there it is you know right you know what I mean? It's and I so feel like different. The say, like they they have that energy. They have the energy. They wouldn't mind. put a lot of effort. No. No, not a lot of effort would be involved. Uh, probably like dirty mirrors. I, it would be like Gore, the Gore say give me the kind of vibe, like the kind of dick pic vibe that it would be like in a hotel room. That's what I mean. It would be a dirty ass mirror in a hotel room, kind of blurry, kind of blurry, and you and could it'd be barely. At night. It'd be at night. It'd be at night. You could barely even fucking see anything. And yeah. then they'd be like, send one. And you're like, what be, the fuck? I think it'd even be like an under the sheets kind of photo. If I, I, I that's just kind of how I picture. With the flash or what? Um, <laughs> maybe a little bit of flash. Maybe not flash. Maybe actually because they're old, old guys, so they don't know how to use a phone. I could totally like the like the glasses are like. Yeah, yeah. And it's like flash because they can't. Yeah, I definitely. They want you to see it all, but you're like, that's not yeah. what I'm trying. It's. It, you would be smarter not to use the flash because I don't want to see it all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could definitely see that, like in a in a lights off type beat, right? Like in a lights like off in a motel, not lights even a off. motel six, but like you know what I mean, like a middle. No, they got they they have money. They do. They're in like a fancy ass hotel, but it's just the way they go about it. You're right. You're right. You know, you're it's right. just not the Hilton, some shit like that. No, yeah. it's like even it's like it's it's even I don't know fancy hotels. Uh, guy, the Ritz. Uh, it would be some anything penthouse shit. Right. Penthouse shit. They're in penthouse shit. I can see But that. they don't act like they do penthouse shit, if that makes sense. Right. Especially when it comes to that. I like that theory, Soma. I like that. I like um, that. Um, Soma with another dono. Thank Let's you, Soma. Go. Soma. <laughs> um, Saint Shepherd got that dune worm. You're absolutely right about that, Soma. Uh Tess said they cover the camera with their finger. I could also see that. Mm. I could definitely see that. There's some very, there's some crazy things that we cannot read in the chat. <laughs> I'm reading them and I'm like, I really want to say it out loud, um, but we won't. Oh. Uh, <laughs> samurai guy. V, like, V Peak Fiction is so funny. I can't. No, it's Ty. Uh, oh, Ty. Let me read Ty's. Uh, uh, <laughs> we can read that. Uh, how you can read that? Uh, are we talking about how we take nudes? I'm talking about how the Gorus say take Gorus nudes. How the say would take nudes? Okay. Ty say, I'm gonna just read Ty's because I, I I think uh, Ty's is funny. Uh, old dudes got them girthy hogs too, from what I've heard. LOL. Right, Ty, from what you've heard. Two? Just kidding. Um, but Who's the two. What? What do you mean? Oh, like <laughs> I guess like as like, well. <laughs> like other people do. <laughs> And so, so do old dudes guys as well. Because, you know, what it, what it might be not... the genitalia might be like ears, right? They say that the ears never stop growing. You know what I'm saying? That's not true. That's what they say. Or noses. That, I think it's no, noses and ears no, never stop growing. No. That is not. <laughs> okay, all right. We can... That is not a part of the same thing. <laughs> so that is we're not finally the doing the thing. tower scaling now. Huh? Um, I, this, this conversation did remind me of that. But we can uh, we could change the yeah. as well. Um, we can we can we could change the subject. We can change the topic. But uh, you know, just got the gears turning so much. Yeah, kind of got the gears. That would be very turning. funny. That they're like really stressing so much. They're like we can't let the world know. And it's just their news, and everyone's like, "Oh, who who is this? Who are right. these people?" I really, again, man, I I think they're you know, makeup is going to show the world their true form, and that might involve. It's going to be a world within a world. Bro, Some I don't know about shit. that. I'm just that's kidding. Your, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying that that's crazy. I'm not saying that that's not that'd possible. be crazy though. But yeah. Um, Nico, we got a donation from Nico. Why don't you hit him with a Ooh. shout out, you, Nico. Nico? Just said that's it. That's it. That's all you need to know. Enough said. Uh, Enough said. That's all you need to know. Um, I I, I don't know. I I I don't know um how much else there's. Uh, that we could really say about the chapter other than it really was a fantastic chapter. I really did enjoy it a lot. Um, I didn't feel, you know, I think that after the first 
chapter post like Vegapunk had a message for everybody and we found out that there was going to be a little bit of a, a time delay or whatever. At the beginning of that chapter, I was like, oh, you know, oh. this is going <laughs> to this is going to take forever. Oh. I thought this was some shit that we were going to be getting next week or oh. even in this chapter, but this is going to take forever. <gasps> but a, 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 like I had said before, as I like started to think about like Vegapunk's <laughs> true plan, which is to stall for time till the Gorsuch showed up and the true forms to show them to the world. Like, I really do enjoy it. I, I think that there's so many other things happening that I'm, I'm fucking in it. Like, I, I don't really feel like this was like a super blue ball, like crazy ass, like, moment I, I feel like there's still gonna be people who are like man now we're gonna have to wait three more weeks for vegapunk's message three three I, real world weeks no i mean y'all this is oda's this is oda's bag how long have we how long is everybody reading one piece I like mean, oda does this this yeah, is not yeah, yeah, surprising sure. it's not like a revelation the next fucking chapter this man likes to yeah no for sure but i feel really good about where this chapter like left off i think it's just the right amount of like intriguing like I'm fucking itching, but I'm not like, I'm not going to spiral, you know, but I am like, fuck, dude. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. It was an incredible chapter. I just feel like it was, it was, it was from start to finish. It was so good. I feel like it, it, it delivered on a lot of things and we kind of got to check in with some characters that we haven't mm -hmm. seen in a long time. So mm -hmm. I really do like where it left off. Before we have to go on to uh, on on this three for sure uh, week break, and as, as as like we said a million times during the stream, as as hard as that is going to be for all of us as fans of this series who are itching for new chapters, it's going to be great for Oda and it's going to be great for the story overall. But I think that's all we have to say, uh, and I think that's going to do it for this review and discussion of chapter one thousand one hundred and eleven. Like we said, just because the, the manga is going on break, you will be seeing plenty of us if you want to, if you want to, in the weeks to come. But I think the only thing left to do now is to get out of here on our outro. That was funny. <laughs> you'll be seeing plenty of us. You'll be seeing plenty of we're us. We're just talking about all the leaks and stuff. So don't don't like leave the, them. The Gorsay leaks. Yeah. We were like, you'll see being like. That's your head, bro. That's your mind. That's your dirty ass mind. Bro, that is. You... Bro, you are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Need something to fucking hit you with. Um, but thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for staying. Um, and thank you for being ballers. Thank <gasps> you for being bad bitches. Bad thank bitches. you for being... Um, Lisan Al Gaibs. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being down and we appreciate y'all. Fuck yeah, dude. The only thing left to do now is to get out of here on the outro. That's always the same. It never changes. Which today, Megan, or anybody in the chat, please help us. Um, Money said, can't wait for all the new stuff y'all are working on. Thank you, Money. Shout out Money, dude. We're and excited too. We're excited too. And another thing that we didn't even mention is that we still have to deliver on our um, volume one a month for our Patreon and YouTube members. Oh, yes. That we're planning on reading and getting up super soon. So there's that to look forward to as well if you're part of the the, 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 the member gang or the Patreon gang. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Jonathan R., that's such a Lisan al Gaib thing to say. I, I, I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm gonna keep saying it forever. Okay, what's the outro? Oh, Gorosei Nudes in Bio said Beans. That's good. Uh, Gorosei Nudes in Bio. Like, what if that was the outro? I like it. I like it. Um... <laughs> Brandon, the uh, only leaks the Gorosei be taken are those that they need their old, old person, person meds, meds to, to fix. fix. Damn. Damn, bro. Scorched earth. Gorosei Badusi leaks. <laughs> nah, I'm leaving, said Tiberius. <laughs> uh, Soma, love you guys. Bye, love Soma. you, Soma. Gorosei Badusi leaks, said Ty. It's okay to share fries, Luffy. That's that's funny. Sorry, Joy Boy. And Sorry, Joy Boy. Sorry, friend. Joy Boy. Three week break. That's what he was apologizing for. <gasps> That's what he was saying sorry for. Forget this is what he was asking for forgiveness for. Uh Josh gonna cook up some Gorosei fan art. Pick one, Megan. Pick one. 
as the Lisana Al Gaib, it's your job to to pick. I want sorry, Joy Boy. Okay. Sorry, Joy Boy. See you in three weeks. Okay, I like you it. You don't like it. I, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Sorry, Joy Boy. See you in. We'll see you in three weeks. Well, yeah, but like we said, we'll be on other things and we'll be tweeting and making community posts about where we're gonna be in the next couple weeks. So but it's okay so... to share fries. Were you saying what you were just saying right now as a, as as like reasons to not go with what you had said? No, I was just I was just end capping. I was just um. Oh, clearing it up. No, I was I was just talking to people. <laughs> okay. I was just talking. You interrupted me. It seemed like I was just yapping. Like, <laughs> no, what do you mean? You don't yap. You don't yap. I don't think you've ever yapped once in your life. That's definitely not true. <laughs> don't. <laughs> we'll say, uh, sorry, Joy Boy. See you in three weeks. Thank you so much. Let me make sure we're all queued up for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. You guys are the fucking best. This is the best community on YouTube. And until next time, sorry, sorry Joy, Joy Boy. Boy. We'll, we'll see, see you, you in three weeks. weeks. But like you were saying, shut the fuck up. Whoa, hey, shut hey, the hey, fuck hey. up, you dumb piece of shit. Whoa. I don't give a fuck anymore. Whoa. I'm out. I'm out of here. Hey, 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 I'm wait, out of wait, here. Wait, I'm wait, flying wait. away. I'm going to the big city to achieve my dreams. Okay. LA, Los Angeles, baby. Let's go. <laughs>